people that have a home and a place of belonging. And that, that we're okay with that. And that we walk past people that are experiencing such cruelty and are more interested in our Facebook feed than an actual life, a precious life next to us. Imagine if we all, our hearts broke the same way for a real human being as they break for a movie that we've just seen of actors. What, what if we actually lived that way? Why don't we throw ourselves into that instead of, you know, the mortgages, the fancy car, the newest phone, and really live? What, what do you want at the end of your life? There's not enough suitable places for young people to move into in our neighbourhoods. And it's not for lack of bedrooms, beds, homes, people that could welcome them. It's um, lack of people that are willing to. Um, they don't see themselves as someone that could share their home with someone that's 17, that has no other options. It is a 16 year old go when home is not an option with family. Where do, they, where do they go? They actually, we can come here, we can do the work to help heal the elements of their life that have, have gone missing, to support them, to build some life skills into them. Our tagline is um, together there's life. I've been here for around 13 years. I was running a business locally in Mornington. Discovered that this place existed, Fusion. A housing service for young people experiencing homelessness. The people that were supporting the young folk here, something about the quality of their heart and the kindness, the humanity that they were lifting up in these individuals that was unlike other things that I had seen. There's something about this dynamic of it being like a family home when people move in here that does the work of establishing a life. One of our ex-team leaders said, we're often kids first chance. It's not a second chance, it's a first chance. The best thing you can do for another person isn't always clinical support, it's love and care and kindness and genuine relationship. And that doesn't need to happen in an organisation like this. It can happen with your next door neighbour. It can happen with a kid that you met in, at the local sports club, a student in your school, that when somebody knows they're really seen, really valued, something comes alive. I love it when we're able to participate with others within our community uh, to support that entity, whatever it may be, a school, a bunch of neighbours, a sports club, to help individuals to thrive in that environment. And it's not about the brand of Fusion. It's not about, look at us, aren't we great? It's about our community, our neighbourhood is a place where individuals could thrive if we work better together. I learned recently that assets in our community is what we really need to focus on and help them to flourish. For me, that looks like in the school, where is life really growing for young people? And maybe at times it's the, the welfare team and making sure young people are being nurtured or there's an activity that's being facilitated in, the, in a lunchtime in area where the kid that's normally ostracised has a place mm -hmm. where he's celebrating so and cared for. Then. Exactly. And how do we take those elements and help them to flourish? And where are the ones where young people feel like they're being squashed? Um, they, they don't fit in or they're feeling uh, inadequate. We need to flip those and bring those other elements in to allow young people to thrive. We're social creatures. We're made to relate to others. You look at a baby that doesn't have people around them, they fail to thrive. And so we, we require to work together in this network. And if you know, you're, the name of your organisation, it's an ecosystem. And an ecosystem knows the other entities in that system and it works together to create a place where all of them can thrive. And if any part of an ecosystem is shriveling up and dying, it impacts the others. So if that young person is shriveling and their life isn't going well, it affects that elderly person. It impacts the teacher, it impacts the guy that runs the IGA supermarket down the road. We need each other to be healthy.
not to compete, but to, to grow together. I so often think about the importance of these young people have something for us to learn from. They are as vital a member of our society as the cashed up donor that's, you know, throwing money at places like this to, to, to win. Their experience is so important. I think that's what I want the world to know, that how precious each individual is and um, we'll only ever know that when we connect together. What are our expected outcomes with our education system? We expect people to graduate with a finishing, finish, I finished high school, here's my ATAR. What's that, what's that gonna do for the, the grand mass? We've gotta throw away that cookie cutter. We've gotta look at the kinds of people that make up a society. And these are the people we need to nurture. They're not valuable once they graduate, they're valuable now at prep preschool, every year level, they are members of our society. But how do they want their school to be like? How do they want to grow and thrive? It's about the well-being of an individual, the holistic well-being. We're not all going to go through that system of school and have the same experience and we don't want them to. We'll end up all being lined up like- McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>... Same burger. <laughs> That's not going to work for our ecosystem, is it? No, not at all. <laughs> it's going Very to be... bland uh, diet. The more creativity and flexibility and nurturing support around an individual, I, I, I think that's when schools are at their best. And when I'm in those environments of school, I, I like to think, where is this school at its best? And let's grow that and let that spread. This is, this is different abled people in different ways working together. Thank goodness I have people on my team that have dyslexia because they see the world differently than I do and they can influence me. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that child that is different abled and lives with autism because when they relate to a group, I learn something and so do others. And it's a gift. It's wonderful. person is a gift is gift and that is the person that's cutting you off when you're driving somewhere and you're angry at them it's the person that you know is behaving obnoxiously in the supermarket it's the young person in the classroom which is just seems to not give a stuff gift is life and each person is imagine if you treated every person as gift well, that's the only version of that human being that will ever live that's wondrous. That's wondrous. If you embodied that, imagine how differently life would be. How wondrous you get to go out and meet the only version of all of these people every day. I want to look back and think of the richness of the other people that have shaped me and that I've been privileged enough to, to influence myself.